out of fortune. In a winter out of fortune, my younger son, then in his 40s, found work in a pizzeria. A craftsman self-made, yet lacking papered education, he had gone his own way, living his upstate life largely on charm and appetite. Too much alike and unalike to really like each other, we'd fall out sometimes for years before not so much reconciling as to restore a cordiality of common interest in inspiration based on the deep thought of others. And, of course, I could be useful. It was he who introduced me to Blanchot, through whom I found Mallarmé and Levinus. I brought René Char. I offered some very necessary dollars, my romanticized imagination. Once in the village, I saw Chagall's lovers in the sky. As for affection, had you ever seen us arms around each other, you would know we had gone mad. In the pizzeria, he did dishes, table service, cash register, closing time stacking chairs on tables, sweeping, mopping, reconciling ongoing conflicts with Fabrizio, the owner, another dominant male, and there was all he could eat. On the wall behind the register, a framed reproduction of a portrait of the Saint Padre Pio, left by the previous owner, which Fabrizio would sometimes respectfully adjust, squaring heart with enterprise. My wife had died in February, months of shock, disorientation, long nights dying to myself as best I could until overcome by sleep, days of variable somnambulism, unexpected, uncontainable upheavals of self. We did not speak of it, acknowledgement and grimace, nods, a sudden turning away, aberrant gesticulations. The body had gathered itself to protect the mind. In all this, it was good he was there. One day, off from work, at home, weeping, he said it had just been pouring out of him. Late afternoon, Fabrizio called. Get down here. A woman, never there before, having eaten, paid, ready to leave, said, I brought something. She had been to Italy, to the shrine of Padre Pio in San Giovanni Rotondo. In the gift shop, she purchased a small enameled cross with images of Christ, Mary, and Padre Pio holding a child. Fabrizio told my son, I think this is for you. The day was overcast, darkening, cross in hand, in the park where he had gone to collect himself on the bridge overlooking the falls. He looked up to see, in the sky, Padre Pio carrying his mother heavenward.